What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Tops back at it again with another banger. Hey, you already know, man. Today I got a special video for you guys, man. And you already know, man. You read the title and saw the thumbnail, man. We finna compare the FIBA joints they released this month, man. And I want to compare the quality control on it and the leather material on it and the um the reds too as well you know because I, I was you know i saw my boy the retro whiz kids video and you know he was talking about the the red was like a brick red i don't think brick red is a co color retro <laughs> yeah man ain't none of that man i'm just i'm just kidding man just kidding but i get what he's saying about the brick red because it's a darker red but but before we get into that man you already know man we are doing a giveaway man we are giving away the 20 2k 20 nba joint man for playstation xbox uh whatever you game on we're gonna be giving away in our channel man all you gotta do is just follow the rules man and follow us on ig instagram well ig is instagram bruh but yeah man follow us on instagram and make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel uh me the retro whiz kid and the vintage world all three of us on instagram we are getting together doing this giveaway man because we did the airpods giveaway and that was hella fun man if you guys wasn't a part of that be a part of this one man uh thank you guys for tuning in man I, if you guys haven't watched that FIBA 4 video go ahead and watch it man it's a dope dope video man i take a lot of time editing my stuff man and uh you know giving you guys really good content man trying to give you guys that good content man yeah man so already man don't mind the hair man i i know your boy looking kind of rough right now you know what i'm saying looking kind of roughy rough but you know what i'm saying like you know it is what it is bro it is what it is but yeah i like to let it ride sometimes you know what i'm saying but yeah man besides that man let's get to this video right here man well, we started the month of September, and I think uh, August we got the, uh, Jordan FIBA 12. Dope sneaker, right? Leather is on point. Usually, the leather on the Jordan 12s is kind of rough. They're not. They're not that. Uh, um soft in other words like buttery how we like to say in the in the sne in the sneaker game but it's definitely a dope shoe man the fact that it was what caught my attention that it was an all pretty much an all white sneaker man as you can see from the from the bottom sole all to the upper panel mid panel and the only thing that changes colors is the gold hints right here on, on the side mud guard here and um here as well of course you got your hints of uh, varsity red and of course the box says this is varsity red on this joint so if we go over to the jordan 4 fiba joints the box says that these are varsity red if you look closely the reds are completely different the red on this is like a blood red red like not yeah blood red could i use blood red no not blood red more like a cherry red and this more like a blood red you know what i'm saying like the retro whiz kid says brick red brick 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 red but if we were to take out another shoe that had that gym red colorway um give me one second i will bring that up right now is the jordan 11 when like 96 so if you're to look at the red on the fiva 12 you have the same red right see it all right and then now if we go ahead and grab the jordan 4 this is a darker red so why would jordan brand call this gym red leave a comment down below telling me what you guys think you know why would jordan brand call this gym red so now guys we are talking about right now at this moment the colorway of the shoes right this is the topic of the colorway of the shoe right now another thing i want to bring up is the obsidian colorway which is the navy blue and if we go ahead and pull out the obsidian jordan one which was a dope shoe by the way if you guys haven't checked it out i have a video on these two as well another banger yeah man it's a dope sneaker right here man so if we go to go ahead and check out the obsidian colorway on there you can see that the navy blue is two different kind of colors so if you see this one has that more navy blue obsidian color and if you look on the bread uh, on the bread fours on the fours you have uh, like that it's like a grayish navy blue like it has like an ashy color to it you guys can see that there another question why would they call this in an obsidian blue but now if we go ahead and look at the um midsole right here you have you know i'm looking at it and it's almost about the same maybe if i could get close up to the camera maybe you guys can see it so it's a different kind of obsidian blue you know what i'm saying it's it's very shiny 
Well, yeah, now that I put it by the mud guard, you can kind of see it. So, yeah, man, you know, you can tell that they use uh, the different kind of color that they will use on this shoe right here. I don't know if that was like to be like the proper. Okay, so now if we look at the eyelids of the Jordan 4s and we look at the Obsidian, you can see that the color, the color matches. The color, the color is matching. So I'll take that back. You know what I'm saying? We can say that these have the Obsidian colorway on there, man. Pretty dope, man. I, I, at the end of the day, I think this is a super dope sneaker. The leather quality on it is like A1. And I thought it was a, a dope shoe at the end of the day, man. I, as, I don't know if you guys saw my video or not, but I say dope about 50 times in that video. And I, I think in pretty much any other dope video I drop, I say dope. If we were to look at the leather quality on both shoes, the fours will take the leather quality out of the water. Um, the leather quality on these Jordan 4s is A1, man. They killed the leather. The leather is dope, man. I like the, the leather on the on the 4s more than on the 12s. Even though you still got that nice leather on these joints right here, man. I, I really like the, the, the leather on this shoe. Basically, it has that tumble leather throughout the up, upper panel, everywhere through the shoe. You know what I'm saying? Besides this mudguard area here, you got the the FIBA uh, flags or whatever they are on there. So it's definitely, I like what Jordan Brand did with the 12s and the 4s, man. They definitely, you could tell, that's why I think they dropped this as the last one. And even though I think it's not doing the same numbers as the 12s are, the 12s, if you go to your stores right now or when you go on the sneakers app, they're like gone. They're sold out pretty much in a lot of places. And they did this shoe did really well in the sense of the um on the selling aspect of the from the release date. So definitely the Jordan 12 kind of outbeats the four because they it, it sold more. You know what I'm saying? They sold more sneakers uh from what it looks like. You know, I don't know the actual numbers to it, but definitely I believe from what I feel what's going on in the sneaker world right now that the 12s did better numbers than the actual four but could it be because of the price point that extra ten dollars that we got for the um the fours these were 190 and these were 200 could it be that who knows i don't know i caught both regardless i got them both under retail uh definitely a dope shoe now i will wear this a lot more than where I wore this because the fact that it was it's an all white shoe this shoe I'll probably wear it maybe and I haven't worn it yet it's just to do the on feet for the video but um these shoes I probably will have trouble wearing it because the fact that it's an all white sneaker oops it's an all white sneaker and you know this shoe will pop, man. It like, you know, with like the camo, black jeans. This is a dope shoe at the end of the day, man. This shoe is like fuego, fuego fire. Like to me, in my opinion, I think I love this shoe right here, man. This shoe got a lot of joy and I don't know. It's just dope, man. But the Forge is definitely um, my favorite because of the idea behind it the way that this shoe is extremely heavy compared to this one like if we were to like put them on a scale i think this one will outweigh it because of the kind of leather they put on there also i want to bring out another shoe that kind of has a similar leather texture to this jordan 4 and i'm going to show you guys which shoe it is because it was definitely a slept on sneaker man that sneaker was stupid slept on it has a dope colorway in, in my opinion. The colorway on that shoe is is dope, man. It's dope. So give me one second. I'll take them out. All right, guys. So we got the Black Crimsons, man. Jordan 4 Black Crimson. Dope sneaker, man. This this shoe was hella dope, man. Um, I believe this was probably the first Jordan uh, 4 that we saw with tumble leather on it. If you look at it, the shoe has like a tumble leather all throughout the shoe and it has tumble leather it, the, the whole upper uh, on the white leather is it is a uh, um tumble 
Now, do we have that bounce back? Yeah, we got that bounce back. So if we were to put this shoe side by side, you can kind of see the uh, leather texture is almost kind of the same. You know what I'm saying? This one has more of like a matte finish, you know, versus this one has a little bit of a gloss finish. I don't know, maybe because it's a white sneaker, but definitely it almost has the same type of leather texture or it could be the same type of leather so i think this was a dope idea for jordan brand to bring something like this is this is another slept on shoe so you know it didn't have that hype man that hype that it should have had you know what i'm saying this shoe is dope man the leather quality on it was no joke if you guys are looking to go after this shoe uh i to me i definitely think it's a must cop uh, to have in the collection if you have the FIBA 12s you should have the FIBA 4s you know it's dope man it's a dope shoe the boxes are dope I don't know if you guys checked it out but I do got a video on this talking about the shoe and stuff like I just wanted to bring the comparison of the 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 12 and the 4 and if you don't own neither or and you're planning to, to want to get them um I wanted to make this video uh, for you guys to show you the comparison. If we were to like vote right now, which one takes the W? The 12 because it was very consistent, um, is a super clean shoe and yeah, they, the 12 takes the 4s out of the water. The only thing that I can say that I really, really like about the 4 is the leather quality and the, the smell. So you know, definitely is a dope shoe man, um, at the end of the day. I hope you guys enjoy this video, man, on the comparison of the Jordan FIBA um, package here. I want to call it package because it's based off the same FIBA uh, theme. So let me know in the comment section which one will be your favorite, which one is the one that if you own both, which one is the ones you like. Well, at the end of the day, which one is your favorite. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think, man. And already, man. All right, guys, we're on the road to 1K, man. Hey, you already know, man. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, man, and hit that notification bell so every time your boy drops a banger, you guys will be notified to watch, man. And please enter the giveaway, man. Let's let's do the damn thing. Let's enter the giveaway. Let's do this giveaway, man. Uh, it ends on October 5th, guys. October 5th, so it gives you plenty of time to enter this giveaway, man. Hopefully, the Retro Wizkid and the Vintage will mention in their next video. Um, from now on, I will have the rules in the description below and links as well if you guys haven't followed the Retro Wizkid and the Vintage World. Uh, two cool YouTubers, man. Uh, they're my buddies. They're my homies. I love them to death. Uh, um, but yeah, man. Appreciate you guys pulling up, man. It's your boy, Tops. And I'm out, man. Bye.